Hi, I'm Uni at Love Your Abode, and today I have my daughter. Hi, I'm Emmy. We are joining the Home Depot for this month's kids' workshop. We're super excited because this month we're building a fish cage. It's so cute and so much fun to build. The wonderful thing about the kids' workshop is that most of the items are already included in the kit. You just have to go to your local Home Depot to pick up your kit on the first Saturday of each month. If you have any questions, be sure to include them in the chat box. You'll find instructions for this project in the resources below. Now, let's get started. Again, most of the supplies are already included in the kit, but there are a few items that you'll need, and Emmy's going to share a little bit more about that. The items you'll need are paint, paintbrushes, a hammer, a screwdriver, and some scissors. Remove all the items from the kit. Along with the supplies, it will include the instructions, a certificate, a pin, and an extension activity. Have all your items ready, including a hammer, screwdriver, paint, paintbrushes, and scissors. Let's start the assembly. For step one, stand both side pieces up with the screw holes facing down and the slots facing in. Make sure outside edges are even and nail them together with four nails. For step two, lay the project down with the slot edge facing down. Make sure the outside edges are even. Nail them together with four nails. Step three, carefully add the stickers to the interior of the tank. Make sure not to cover the slots in the side pieces. Add the stickers to both sides of the three fish. Step four, thread one piece of string through the hole of one fish and tie the end. Repeat for the other two fish. Step five, place the slotted lid on top of the project. Take one fish with string and thread the loose end through a lid slot and then through a stopper. Tie a knot at your desired length. Repeat this step for the other two fish with the string. Set aside the lid with the hanging fishes until the final step. Step six, lay the project down with the open front facing up. Make sure outside edges are even. Nail it in place with four nails. If 
If you are painting this project, paint only the exterior of the tank. Make sure not to paint the interior of the tank covering the slots because painting the slots will make it difficult to slide in the clear plastic sheet. Allow the paint to dry fully. Step seven, peel off the blue protective sheets from both sides of the clear plastic sheet. Slide it into the slots and place the lid with the hanging fishes on top of the tank. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, attach it with two screws. Feel free to cut the excess string at top if desired. The Home Depot Kids Workshop also comes with the workshop extension activity. Your kids will really love adding this to their experience. The workshop extension activity has three parts, which include connect, investigate, and innovate. Emmy and I investigated and learned more about the ocean by looking on the National Ocean Services website. We found that the ocean is divided into three zones. Emmy divided the fish tank into three layers. She then added some of the names of the fish that lived in those three zones. When your fish tank is complete, take a moment this Father's Day to share it with your dad or another important adult in your life and explain what you've created. When the project is completed, don't forget to give them the Certificate of Achievement and their pin. Join us for this month's Home Depot's Kids Workshop. We had a blast and know you will too.